Welcome to another edition of Coach's Corner. It's spring sports time, and that means golf. And on the golf course, our Ponca City girls golfers are led by uh, John Spore, our girls golf coach. How many years now, John, you've been doing this? Oh, course? it's about 15 years, wow. I think. <clears throat> uh, and uh, as you get a little older, it's a little harder to keep up with them. <laughs> uh, I, I hear that. Uh, uh, but it's a pretty, pretty cool gig to be our girls golf coach because you've seen a lot of really good golfers over your career. Too. Well, we, we've, we've been fortunate enough to have um, some outstanding girls here and, and, and uh, most notably uh, Kyla Kavner, who's a three-time state champion. But we've had other girls that were outstanding girls that have gone on to play at D1 and uh, other colleges and across Oklahoma, so uh, we've been fortunate, I've been fortunate. What's Makayla doing these days, Coach? Well, I, I talked to somebody the other day, she, ha she had been an assistant uh, pro at, at the Patriot, the new course right. over uh, in Catoosa or Owasso, exactly wherever it is. Anyway, but she had given up that gig and I think she's went to, or trying to go to work for Conoco and, uh, and go that route. Good. Uh, you know, you and I talked a few times, girls, there are a lot of uh, there's a lot of opportunity in girls golf, isn't there? There's scholarships out there, and if a girl can shoot a decent score and stay with it and make grades in high school, there's some opportunities. Well, exactly, and there, they may not be a whole lot of full full ride right. scholarships. They just don't have that many. Even OSU with their great golfers, a lot of them don't get full rides, but there'll be a, a half ride. And 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 normally speaking. Uh, golfers, both boys and girls, are very good students. So there's probably some academic uh, mm -hmm. help they can get there, plus uh, the golf help, and maybe you can go to school for almost free. In innovation, coaches and athletic directors are good at that, uh, creating those type of things. How's your team this year? Well, we're we're sort of middle of the pack. Uh, we've we've uh, been to five tournaments and and finished anywhere from 4th down to 10th. Uh, we went to last uh, tournament we went to was at Sa Sa uh, South Lakes and Jinx, and it's the biggest tournament of the year. And uh, we were 10th down there. And But there was a, several schools from other classes, outstanding schools from other classes that were ahead of us. So looking at it right now, I, you know, I think we can qualify for this. I mean, that's always a goal. We're going to qualify for the state tournament and see what happens after it gets there. Uh, based on the South Lakes tournament, we were the tied for fifth from the east. The eastern teams that were there, we were tied for fifth. Uh, no doubt, Union, Jinx, and Broken Arrow, the top three teams. Uh, we cannot beat them. They're they're better than we are. Uh, but then we have us and, and uh, Owasso and uh, one other team from the east. Muskogee's pretty good. Um, oh, Bishop Kelly. Bishop Kelly, who's moved up from 5A to 6A, they, they, and, and they've been pretty tough in their, their classification in the past. So, you know, we tied for fifth, so we've got to at least stay there or try to get better. We'll see what happens. Yeah, top six teams uh, out of the regionals go on as a team, and and uh, that's kind of your goal every year once you get to the state tournament. However things go there, uh, you can live with, but if you can hit that goal. Uh, uh, tell me about some of the girls this year. you, you got some young players too, don't you? Well, think? absolutely. We don't have any senior. We've only got one senior on the squad, and uh, uh, Carrie Cash on, and she's also big time cheerleader for us, and and is trying out for OU's cheer squad, which is a, ma a big accomplishment. Mm -hmm. But she hurt herself right at the end of cheer competition cheers for the high school, and and is trying to stay healthy enough. I think she has some big uh, tryout with OU in the next three weeks, so she hasn't been able to to golf. The twisting motion is not very good, so. She had middle golf. That's the only senior we have. Uh, juniors, we've got four juniors, and they all play a lot. Kaylee Anderson, Kelsey Cottom, uh, Destiny uh, Wilkins, and, and Carly MacArthur, four juniors. And we've got uh, three or four sophomores and, and, and three freshmen. But we're, you know, last, I can see us taking a couple of freshmen. Uh, well, in fact, we do have one, pre uh, two freshmen that have been playing for us, Madison Presco and 
and uh, Kaylee Gillespie uh, are both freshmen, and uh, the other freshman, uh, Mackenzie Gales, is a pretty good player herself. So uh, I'm pretty excited for the future. Right. I, I saw a tournament, I don't know whether it was uh, Muskogee or the, the South Lakes, but the, the low score was 80 and the high was 93. If you got five girls and they're within 13 strokes, that's a pretty good problem, Coach. Well, we, we're pretty consistent. We, we need to get, everybody needs to get a little bit better. Uh, of course, it's been an absolutely crazy spring. Can you believe this weather? I got 92 degrees. You, you haven't had to put on an overcoat this year, have you? No, and I, I have several of them that I and normally... Spore wears coats when it's about 85, so... I, um... I absolutely can't stand that cold weather, but we haven't, literally, we went to a couple of tournaments. It's been a little cool in the morning with a light jacket. Mm -hmm. uh, the last two tournaments, I've worn shorts. There's been seasons I haven't had shorts out until the season was over, so uh, that's been crazy, but... Uh, of course, everybody's had to take advantage, not just us, but everybody's taken advantage of the great weather and, and uh, some pretty good scores. I, uh, last week at South uh, Lakes, I saw the lowest girls total I've ever seen. Isn't that good, though? I mean, kids really are going to get better this spring, aren't they? Not only our team, but all across. <coughs> when you've got this type of, and this may never happen again, but I'm sure that you would say, this is going to be a great year for golf, uh, high school golf, junior high golf, because kids can get better in this stuff. Well, well right. Nor normally speaking, we have golf second second semester. It starts after Christmas break. We normally go through all of January, at least probably half of February, never see outside. Right. And we put together some little makeshift indoor deals that sort of help, but they're, they're not great by mm -hmm. any stretch of the imagination. You got you, golf's meant to be played outside. Well, this year, when we came back after Christmas break, we've been outside more than we've had to be inside. Just very few days that we weren't able to go out and practice, so uh, that's definitely helped. Absolutely. Um, Ponca City has really become known as a, as a very attractive place for tournaments. I know we hosted a tournament here. Uh, are we going to host any more tournaments this year, such as regional or state tournaments? Well, both. Uh, the girls are going to host regionals at Wentz, and I think that's April the 24th. It's on a Tuesday, 24th and 25th of April, uh, last Tuesday in, uh, in uh, April, I believe. And then the boys are going to host the boys regional at the country club exactly a week l later on a Monday. Uh, so, we, yeah, we're bo both getting to host a regional here in town. Uh, Jerry and I, Jerry or the boys coach, are both both on the 6A uh, selection committee and, and uh, pick the tournaments and sites and this, that, and the other. We're fortunate in that regard. Yeah, but that's a lot of work, and to host one is a lot of work. To host two, you got to have a lot of cooperation with the, the pros out at the golf courses and with parents, too. Well, there's there's... We have the best, absolutely the best situation and with, with our country club and the, the, the municipal course with, with Rod Alexander out there and, and the guys at the country club. Absolutely the best situation you could have. They let us come out there and we practice for free and let us have tournaments there and don't charge us very little, very nominal fee. We pay, get, pay them a little something for helping us. It is absolutely the best deal in, in Oklahoma. We talked about the players getting better, but normally about this time of year, your courses are just thawing out a little bit. <laughs> the courses are playing probably like they would normally play in June or July. Well, I would say they're at least a month ahead of time. Mm -hmm. Normally speaking, when we host the regional or late in the season, here in, in north central Oklahoma, you're starting to see a little green on the fairways. My gosh, we played at, at the country club I did with some guys on Saturday. The fairways are green. And we had a great day yesterday, warm weather, and we're going to get some more warm weather. It's going to rain hopefully tomorrow. Uh, they're literally a month ahead of times and in great condition. I would imagine that those guys that uh that mow or cut 
they've had those mowers now out for three or four weeks. They normally probably don't even service them until right now. So <laughs> exactly, they normally don't have the oil change. Absolutely, do they? <laughs> yeah. Those guys are out having to to cut the fairways in the rough. I bet it's plush too. When you hit it, it's just like well, you know, it's not quite that good yet, but it's know. still what way better than what we normally have in and, and like I say normally speaking it's not till the till the end of April 1st of May when we have state tournament and regional time that we finally get the grass in good enough shape and halfway plus. God you're happy too you don't have to deal with any more cold weather this year. Well I exactly exactly it's supposed to rain on us tomorrow That's we okay. have to go to uh, uh, we're having we haven't ever been there uh, uh, the new Muskogee coach where the state tournament's right. going to be held in Muskogee Country Club for the girls. He's hope, hosting a second uh, tournament at uh, Cherokee Hills at the uh, casino there, the Hard Rock Casino course. And somebody said that it's absolutely a beautiful, great course. I have never played there. Is that where the state tournament is? No, that's where he's just hosting a tournament there as a fundraiser. Okay. And... Uh, but the court, the state term is going to be in Muskogee uh -huh. at the country club. But we go over there tomorrow, and of course, it, you know, they're talking like it might rain, but, you know, if it does, it does. Yeah. Have you played the course, uh, Muskogee, where the state tournament Well, yeah, we played uh, first week, first Monday after spring break, that Monday, the 23rd, whatever uh -huh. day that was, we went down, and, and uh, it was in great shape. Yeah. And I haven't been, we haven't, I haven't taken anybody down. It's, you know, it's two and a half hours at least to get hard to Muskogee and we don't we used to go all the time when they had a state tournament there before and uh, we haven't been back in the last three years probably mm -hmm. but went but since they're going to have ta uh, the state there we went down and played that tournament the uh, course is in great shape uh, they've redone some of the greens so great track yeah good to see you again well Everything nice to okay? see you Phil. yes I'm yeah, doing great good good Okay, we're just getting older. John Spore, <laughs> our girls' golf coach. Wish him well in the uh, regionals and state tournament. He's our guest on Coach's Corner.